Lawrence Jones, he's a regular panelist on our show and a longtime activist here in Texas. He's also a spokesman for Change the Game. He's got an update. So he was doing a lot of investigative work on this situation going on in North Texas. Uh, he's not happy with the fact that there were lawyers, and I, that's dramatically for a purpose, practicing law, which isn't even actually recognized as American law. So Lawrence took matters into his, home, his own hands today. Uh, Lawrence, thank you for being here. Oh, no Tell problem, me what man. happened. All right, so what did you do? So back then when we did your show, you said, you know, Lawrence, keep us posted on what's going to happen. Right. Well, you know, me, the activist side of me, couldn't just let this go by. Uh, I could see it was still in your eye when you left. <laughs> so one of the things, I went through the legal process. There is a complaints committee um, for the state board, uh, state bar mm -hmm. of Texas, and they have a committee that is sole uh, responsible purpose is to deal with complaints that say um, people are imposing as attorneys, uh, judges, uh, that they have law degrees. Right. All of those fit in this category. And, and that's what these guys are doing, because you had brought that up on the program, and you said, well, what did, how was it on their website? Like, it, they, they said in their bios that they're lawyers, right. and then on, like, one other page on their website, right. a little bit tiny font at the bottom, we're not actually <laughs> lawyers. So on their website, okay, first of all, the judges and lawyers and attorneys are all the same thing for these people. So they have attorneys that represent their clients, they're also judges too, so they like alternate, which is real funky. But at the bottom of their web- Sounds like a totally <laughs> balanced legal system right, right there. Exactly, they're all the same people. Right. At the bottom of the website it says, well, we're really not attorneys, but you know, we can practice law because we have our own religion, we have our own system, and that's perfectly okay. So I called the state, and I called the chair. I actually spoke with him today. And he made it very clear that they had received my complaint. We were one of the first ones to actually get that complaint in. And there is a large group of people that are bringing this same concern. You Ooh. cannot say that you're an attorney in the United States of America and you have no documentation, especially right. in Texas. They, um, they had said, they, they wrote you back. We have the, the email. Your right. complaint has been received by the Texas Unauthorized Practice of Law Committee. I did not know that those existed. That's pretty cool. Uh, your complaint will be assigned to an investigator. They're going to investigate your complaint as quickly as possible. I mean, I'm sure that they take it very seriously. What? It's not just assigned. It, they're already investigating They're actively it. investigating So I, I, I talked to them and they're already investigating. The process is this. They give it over to a panel. They decide, okay, should we investigate this? That's already been done. Then there's a hearing. After the hearing, they send a, a letter to, um, you know, the Islamic Tribunal saying to cease and desist. Right. After that, then there's another hearing where it goes to the Attorney General. So th right. there's a whole legal process to get this done. What, and, and last quick question for you. What gets me is that when I was watching that interview that Glenn was doing, they were talking about crimes that, if somebody steals, well, stealing is still illegal in the American. And it's a criminal legal matter. It's system. not a family. Yeah, it's you know exactly. I did. They, they're aware of that. I'm assuming, right? Well, the, the thing is, in most countries, especially in Canada and, and the UK, these people have been doing this under the rug. But, but they're gonna have criminal cases in that court. They, yeah. they are literally lying to the American public and saying, look, we're only going to deal with family Because a lot of times it's, a, it's the state's responsibility to bring charges depending on the nature of the crime. Exactly. And, and what concerns me is the first Republican in Dallas County, the district attorney, the only Republican sitting in Dallas says no comment. What are you going to do? What's his name? Her name is Susan Hawk. Her name, Susan Hawk. So we need to find out why Susan Hawk has no comment about this. Why would she not have a comment about this? That's the question I want to ask. And that's probably where we'll see you next. <laughs> Lawrence Jones, always a pleasure. Thanks, Thank you, my friend.